Hello, civil engineers. Welcome back to the lecture. So whatever we have it here, no, the same thing we'll do it in the MS projects. So open your MS project software. So yeah. CPM is already, we have done it. Not required. Yeah. Open your MS project. And what you do, uh, this time you don't do the settings of this one. What is that? Uh, auto, uh, auto schedule you don't do. I'll teach you the other way how it has to be done. So first you write here port, P-E-R-T, okay? Port analysis. Good. Now what are the activities that we have? Tell me. Quickly how to tell the activities. So from where we are going to start? Yeah. So from A to I we have. So quickly write down all those things. So we have A. We have B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, we have. Now everything is manually here, no? So you change this to auto schedule. Then what you do, you keep your mouse here. And this dot, you can see, this dot here. You drag it like this. Finish. Everything will be auto schedule. You can do like this also, but uh, you shouldn't do like this. You should go to the options. From there only auto change. Okay. At any cost, you shouldn't do it from here. Not a right practice. From there only you should do. Finish. Now what we'll do, we'll give a main heading. No. Now inside this, we'll create this WBS. That means we'll select everything and we'll go to the option called as indent. Okay. Click on that. Finish. No. Everything came under that. What is left out? This duration you need to fill. So what is the duration that we have? Yeah. So this is four, six. 8 okay 4 6 and 8 so write it write 4 here write 6 here write 8 here after that 4 6 8 is done next is 8 6 5 next is 8 6 5 so 8 6 5 after that 8 6 5 is done next is 4 3 Four, three, two. So four, three, two. Finish. Next, what we'll do exactly? We'll do the interlinking. So again, for the linking predecessor part will be there. You do that. If it's not available, you what you are supposed to do? Go to that column option. This add new column. Right, predecessor. It will come and take that. Okay, fine. So how you will connect it? So B is connected with A. So A the number is two, two. Again, C is also connected with A. So again, the number is two. Okay. Next, what we'll do? So B is done with A and C is connected with A. D is connected with D. So D is connected with B. So this is D. B number is three. So take three here. Yeah. E is connected. So this E is connected with B and C, right? E is connected with B and C. So come to E, B and C. So it's three and four, three comma four. Now come to F. Where is F? F is this one. It's directly connecting to C. So give C. So C, what is the number? C number is 4, isn't it? 4. Good. Next. Next, what we'll do? Yeah. G. G is connecting with D and E. So G is connecting with D and E. So D and E is 5 and 6. So 5 comma 6. Next. H is connecting with E and F. So give E and F here. For H, give E and F. E and F is 6, 7. Next, I. I are going to connect with G and H. Okay. G and H. So G is 8. G is 8. And H is 9. Simple. Then all your things you are done. Uh, first, what we did, we gave the name, then we gave the duration, then what happened? Uh, we gave the predecessor and everything. So you see the duration is coming 24 days. Is it that uh, here also you get you are getting manually 24 days? Exactly. We are getting 24 days, right? Same thing you are getting here, 24 days. Good. Now what you will do? Now you need to do few things. Okay. So for that, what we will do is we will quickly do that. So what you will do? Come here. See, by default, this add new column won't be visible in your tab. It will be something like this. Let us consider. So this add new column won't be visible sometimes. So you click here and drag it like this. Again, click here 
on the task this thing gantt chart right click again right click where is that add new column is not shown let me do control z it's there add new column it will be there okay why oh, it's not coming right okay if it's not coming you just drag this portion it will come add new column okay so in the add new column first uh, first what you will write is early start we'll write early start this one this resource name you would hide it right click here and hide it it's not required for me hide column predecessor also you hide right click here and hide here you have to keep mouse should be kept here right click and hide good early start next again double click and write early finish early if you write it's enough early finish will come okay now again add column right late start so late start it's coming here take it now you see this column is not visible so now just drag it like this so the moment you drag it like this this much gap will come so again right late finish l a t late finish and the last one what you require is again you drag it is the slack value is required total slack so it's coming total slack click on that finish okay now we try to adjust it we'll try to adjust it this two column will not require right click and say hide column okay now you try to adjust it all these things enough okay add new column is not required you just try to bring it closer like this enough this one you bring it closer enough okay so everything is done now okay yeah so what we'll do we'll right click here you will go to zoom say entire project and say okay next what all things we can do again click on gantt chart format click on critical task so now it is going to give you all the critical task now you try to understand the concept okay simple total duration 24 days matching with your manual calculation it's matching what are your critical activities critical a b c d e f g i right so Shall I copy that? It's not possible. Anyhow, not required. I'll write it here. A, B, C, D, E, G, I. These are your critical activities. Okay. So we'll go to the this thing. Same thing. You can see it here. How you will check it? You should put the name. But anyhow, name is not required. Wherever the red color is coming, I'll give a different color to that. Okay. A, B, C. Then even D is also critical. E is also critical. G is also critical. I is critical. Then I'll go to the task option. Let me give a yellow color to that. Simple. So whichever I have given a yellow color, they all are critical activities. Or what is the other way of finding? Wherever your total slack is zero, that are your critical activities. So wherever I have given a yellow color, all the of them have a total slack of zero. That means they are your critical activities. Okay, now try to understand the concept. For example, activity A. I'll I'll put it in a better way. Instead of activity A, calling that I'll give excavation name. Okay, excavation. I'll give. Uh, let me increase this font. I'll give PCC. I'll give uh, reinforcement. I'll give shattering. I'll give concreting. Then what shall I give? I'll say deshattering. Deshattering. I'll say uh, column. Uh, I'll say column casting. I'll say starter concrete. Just for our understanding. Okay. Starter concrete. We'll do again. Then we'll say. column shattering and last phase your column concreting increase this column concreting okay here we'll do one thing this reinforcement what i have written i'll tell that it is a footing reinforcement just to make it more correct this is footing reinforcement just drag it it will come in a single line Okay, shattering is which one? Footing shattering. 
and concreting is putting concreting. Okay, this shuttering is understood footings only. Just drag it because I want the total slack to be seen. Hmm? Yeah, drag it. Now try to adjust it a bit. We'll do one more thing also just to make it more, you know. Yeah. Early start, early finish. Late start, late fin uh, early start, late start, late finish. So whichever are my critical activities, you no, know, this portion. I'll give a different color to that. This activity, this and this. Fine. And whichever are my uh, late start, late finish, that also I'll give a different color. Okay. So that it's easy now. Now try to understand. Excavation is the activity. It is sub. It's a four days duration. Supposed to start on thirty first October. Third number will finish it off. What is the early start you can do? It's early start is 31st October only. Early finish is 3rd November only. Okay. Good. What is the late start? Late start you have to do. There is nothing called late start. 31st, 31st October only you should start. And late finish is also 3rd November. Why? Why I cannot uh, delay my uh, start of this activity? Because it's a critical activity. Here the float is 0. That means the buffering time is 0. So that is why my late uh, start is also 31st October. Okay. Now. If you want to connect this with that table, what I have done, what we had done. If I take this uh, table, if you take this table, I'll say control C. Yeah. Okay. So this is how it is. So this one is ES. There, this early start, whatever you can see here, no, this is this activity. Okay, here. This is this one, early start. Okay, zero we had here. What is early finish? Four duration, four, four, four we had written it here, no? Same thing here. This is that date, okay? First December. Then late start. Late start, what we, what we had, zero only we had. Whatever was here, same thing is here. So you can see the same thing here. Late start is also 31st October. What is late finish? That is also 1st December. Here, what we had, 4th one. So only the thing is an Excel sheet, there is no dates given. Whereas in the MS project, the dates are given. Got it? So zero days. So this becomes your critical activity. Similarly, your PCC also same thing. It's a six, dur six days duration. Six number you are supposed to start. 13th number you'll finish it off. Early start, how you can do? How early you can do? Six number only you can start. Okay. Then, then when you'll finish it, 13 number, you'll finish it, early finish. What is the late start? Late start means whether you can delay the duration, delay the activity, no. 16th number only I should start. 13th number I can finish it off. Why? Because it is zero days. That means the total float or the total slack what I have is zero days. I cannot delay the activity. It's a critical activity for me. Now, come to this activity, de-shuttering. De-shuttering is a five days process. 16th number you can start. 22nd number you'll finish it off. So early start is also 16th November. Early finish is also 22 November. Now come to the early, late start. 16th November you are supposed to start. But you can delay this activity. Yes, instead of starting on 16th November, you can start on 20 November also. Why? Because you have a slack of two days. So slack of two days means 16, 17, 18. 18 should come. No, 18 should come. Because in between two Saturday and Sunday is coming. So that is why it has gone to 20 November. Simple logic. Okay. Logic is simple because your uh, Saturday Sunday is Saturday and Sunday is falling in between the 16 November to 20 November. So that is why it's it's coming 20 November here. Good. What is the late finish? You are supposed to finish on 22nd November. Even then, if you delay it, if you start on 20 November, 24th November you can finish it off. So you have a float or you have a buffer time of two days here. So this is not your critical activity. You can delay this activity. Got it? Similarly, column shuttering. Suppose it's a three days work. Supposed to start on 24th November, you finish it by 28th November. Early start is also 24th November. Early finish is also 28th November. But can you delay the activity? Yes, you can delay how 24th November you are supposed to start. 27 you are starting. That means 25 and 26 is a holiday there, okay, because of Saturday, Sunday. So 27th November you will start. You will start. So you require three days, no? 
27, 28, 29. So three days, 29 number, you'll finish it. 28, you are supposed to finish it. 29, you're finishing. So this is non, This is also a non-critical activity. So you can delay this activity, not an issue. But wherever it is yellow in color, what I've done, they all are critical activity. Now you see, in critical activity, if I increase the duration, no, just I increase the duration, finish. What happened? From 24, it went to 25 days. It has increased. Your number of uh, days increased now. But whereas, if I increase it in the non-critical activity, reshuttering was supposed to happen. It was a five days. I'll increase one, one more day here. Did any duration change happen here? No. Because I'm having a float of one day. So if I increase one again now, now what happened? Now that float has come down to zero days. And now, now everything is critical activity now. You see that it changed, no? See here. It was blue earlier. I changed, I increased one more day here. It came red color. Everything is red in color. Now everything is critical. Now the moment I increase one more day, no, from 24, it will go to 25 days. Understood the concept? Got it? Good. So this is what you're supposed to understand. You should understand what is critical activity, what is non-critical activity. And you should understand wherever there is a critical activity, on that day at any cost, I should start. If I don't start, my succeeding activities, whatever are there, all the activities will get delayed. And my overall project is also going to get delayed. Instead of finishing by 24 days, it may take 25, 26, 27, depending on how long you're going to delay it. Got it? And wherever I have a float of like one, one and all, it indicates that I can delay this activity by one day. If you cannot start on 16th November, you can start on 17th November. If you cannot start on 24th November, you can start on 27th November. That is one day because of Saturday, Sunday, it's showing 27th. Understood the concept? Good. So again, you know, one more concept I taught you. Suppose, let us say this particular activity, which is that 17 November, you, you are supposed, I'm not this one. Let us say this, this is a critical activity. Putting concreting, you are supposed to start on 16th November. But something happened on the site, you didn't start on 16 November, you started on 18th November, but you want to finish it by 23 November only. In that case, what you will do, will increase the manpower. That means I told you about the labor story, about that wall plastering, wall uh, painting. So you have all those uh, freedom with you. you can increase the manpower, you can increase the machinery, right? That thing can be done. Okay. It's up to you what you want to do. Okay. So that is, that was all about the PERT analysis. So try to practice up to here. I'll give you one assignment now for the PERT. I'll give you one problem statement. You try to do it on your own and try to see that. Okay. So that was all about the PERT analysis. I hope uh, you have enjoyed this lecture and you got a complete idea how to do this uh, PERT analysis and all those things. So here you'll get everything, early start, early finish, late start, late finish, what is the slack we have. From here, I can decide everything, yeah. So anyhow, uh, in the next lecture, we'll see how we can take care of all this uh, manpower, the resources I was speaking, you know, how to increase the resource, how to uh, you know allocate the resources and all. We'll try to see all those things in the uh, upcoming lectures. So till now, try to go through this lecture, try to understand the concept, and if you understand this, I would say 50 to 60% of project planning is understood to you. And based on this logically, we can try to play all these things. Okay, day shuttering, if I, deal, if I delay, nothing will happen. Column shuttering also, if I delay. Today, instead of removing on 24th November, if I start to do the day shuttering of the column on 27th November, so nothing will happen. Whereas excavation, PCC, putting, reinforcement, shuttering, concrete should happen on time. Else my activity will get delayed, the project will get delayed. You got an idea, good. So practice up to here. And we'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.